show you how to make an outrun style video like this using E flat synth. So first of all you're just going to want to grab a video. I use this video, it's 14 seconds long. As you can see there's not much movement. When you get your video you're going to want to make sure that it's pretty short and that it doesn't have too much movement unless you want to make multiple keyframes or unless you want to have an ungodly render time. So E flat synth can't read straight video files yet. It can only reach image sequences. Maybe they'll change that in the future, but for now we just have to make a folder um, where we can put our image sequence. Um, I've already made one, so I'm not gonna make that. I'm gonna delete this one. Um, just make sure you have one so that you can keep everything organized. Once you've made your folder, you're gonna wanna convert your video into an image sequence and put it into that folder. So you're gonna go into After Effects and open up your video into the project. Uh, you're gonna drag it into the composition and then you're gonna go to File, uh, Export, add to render queue and then you're going to click where it says lossless and you're going to change the export type to a png image sequence and then just press ok and uh, make sure that you render out into your folder next up we're going to open our video into after effects open the timeline window from the window tab So for now, E flat synth is uh, based mostly on single frames, so you're going to want to find a frame where you can see most of the elements of your video. I use one where you can see my eyes. Um, if you have a video that moves too fast, or if there's too many different elements that move around during the video, you're going to want to make more than one keyframe. Once you've selected a frame that will work for you, you're going to want to open up your brush tool, get some texture on there maybe, give it that painted look. And then you're just going to use your eyedropper tool to select the pixels directly underneath where you're going to paint and paint over your entire frame. Once you've painted over your entire frame and you're happy with it, you're going to want to open up the adjustments layer tab in Photoshop and get a color lookup table adjustment layer on top of your entire uh, layer stack. And then for my look, I used the Late Sunset 3DL. Once you're happy with how your finished frame looks, you're going to want to export it into a new folder called Keyframes. You're going to name your image based on which frame it is of your video. So for example, I used frame 439, so I'm going to name my image Outrun00439. Next up, you just gotta download and install E flat synth and then open the .exe file once you've got it downloaded. So this is E flat synth, uh, this is the interface. Um, this is where you put in your keyframe, so I had two because I put my glasses on and then you can't see my face. Uh, and then this is where you put your video sequence. So uh, you're just gonna open up the folder where you saved all your images to from uh, After Effects. Select the first one and it's gonna put them all in for you. And then down here you specify uh, how long you want to render out each video and which keyframe you want to use. So for me, uh, rendering each one of these took about um, two hours for 14 seconds. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you're gonna be in for a wait. Once your E flat synth is finally finished rendering, you're gonna open up your image sequence into Premiere or whichever video editing software you want. Um, you're gonna check the uh, import as image sequence box and then import that in and then you can export it as an mp4 or a gif or whatever you'd like. So that's it guys, I hope I was clear and uh, you could follow along. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so I'm still figuring out how to structure it, but I hope I wasn't uh, too long-winded and I explained everything well. Um, I guess see you next time.